All right, in this video here, we're going to be looking at rewriting equations and formulas. This is also called literal equations. So let's get right into it. Here we go. So for this example here, we're going to solve for a. So we got to find a on our in our equation. There it is right there. So what that means when we solve for a, that means we want it to look like this, where we have a equals, and then instead of the value that it equals, it's going to be an expression. So we're going to solve it the same way that we solve all the other equations here. So first up, what is being done to a? Well, it's being added by 2b. So we want to undo a plus 2 2b because we want to go from a plus 2b to just a so we want to undo the plus 2b with a minus 2b to both sides so the new right hand side is going to be c and then what are we doing minus 2b so we're going to have a c and then minus 2b and, and that's it uh, our left hand side was a plus 2b minus 2b no 2b's left there just an a equals and this is what it means to solve for a variable it basically means get the variable by itself for here we're going to be solving for r so we look at our equation got to find the r there it is right there so what that means is that we want to have for our equation we're going to have we're going to keep the r over here and we're going to have equals then what it equals over here so same thing as any other equation what's being done to r and then we want to undo it because we want to go from prt to just plain old r well r is being multiplied by a p and a t so how do we undo multiplying by p and t divide by pt to both sides so our left hand side we're going to have i divided by pt and pt doesn't divide evenly so we just leave it as a fraction and then we have pt divided by pt is no more pts just the r remaining on the right hand side now we can switch these around as well we can do I over PT equals R or R equals I over PT. So you will see it both ways. Like, and this would be an example, like if you're doing a multiple choice question, well, I wrote it like this, this is how I solved it. And they don't give me this as, a, as an answer. Well, here's another possible answer. You might see it. So just to get the flavor of what we're doing, how would we solve something like this? Well, these ones we can do in our heads. We can uh, undo the minus 3 with a plus 3 to both sides, and then we undo the times 2 with a divide by 2. Now, in this case here, we're not actually doing the intermediate calculations, and that's kind of the cool thing about algebra is that if you have two numbers and you don't know what they are, they're A and B, and you have to add them up, you just put A plus B. So this is basically the strategy that we're doing with these ones here um, when we're solving for a variable, rewriting formulas. Another example here, um, so we have 0.123x minus 0.456 equals 7 over 89. So how would we solve this? We want to get X by itself, so we're going to start by adding this to both sides. Boom, looks like that, where we just add that to both sides, and then we're going to divide by 0.123. And these are super duper nasty numbers. And we're just not doing the intermediate calculations here. So you'll see how this translates uh, to the, our literal equations or rewriting formulas here in a sec. All right, so here we go. We're solving for y. So we look at our equation, find y. There it is there. So what this means is that we're going to want y equals and then what it equals right over here. Now, normally in the past, it's been a value or a number. It's not going to be that for these ones. It's going to be an expression. So to get y by itself, we need to undo this minus 8x over here, uh, negative 8x. How do we undo that? We undo that with a plus 8x to both sides. So our left-hand side is still going to be just 2y, negative 8x plus 8x, no more 8x's on the left. And now we have a 6 plus an 8x. So here we go. We got 8x plus the 6. Now, generally speaking, when we're writing expressions, the variable terms go first. So this is uh, the most appropriate way of writing this. Instead of 6 plus 8x, the way it's written right up here, we normally do the variable terms first and then the constant terms. So here we go, moving on. Now we have uh, 2 times y. We want just plain y there. So we undo the times by 2 with a divide by 2 to both sides. So we got 2y divided by 2 is just y. And then we're going to have 8x plus 6 divided by 
2. So it looks like that. Now you can do this step in your head and skip straight down to here if you want because we are dividing both the 8x and the 6 by 2. So 8 divided by 2, that's going to make the 4x when we simplify and then we'll have a plus and then 6 divided by 2 makes 3. Another example of solving for y. So now we look over here, where's y? There it is. So we know that at the bottom of our work, we're gonna want y equals and then the expression that it equals. So when we're solving or rewriting formulas or literal equations, generally speaking, our answers are gonna be expressions and not numbers or values. So we wanna go from 5x minus 3y to just y. So we need to undo this positive 5x here. So we're gonna subtract 5x to both sides. 5x minus 5x, no more 5x's, just the negative 3y. And then six minus 5x is gonna look like this, negative 5x plus six. So again, generally speaking, when we're writing expressions, the variable part goes first, then the constant term, instead of the other way around. Now we need to undo this negative three being multiplied by y. So we'll divide negative three to both sides. So there we have y equals negative three divided by negative three is just one y written right there. And now we'll have negative five x plus six divided by negative three. Now we can actually do the division. So this negative three is gonna be divided into both terms, the negative five x and the positive six. So here we go, negative five, divided by negative three, negative divided by negative is positive, and then three doesn't divide evenly into five, so we just leave it as five thirds x. And this is when we're simplifying out this answer here. And then we have a positive, we still gotta do the six divided by negative three, positive divided by negative is negative, and then six divided by three makes two. And there's the simplified version of this solution here. And again, solve for y means get y by itself, and then equals, and then the expression there. Now, both of these answers here are mathematically equivalent. This one is in what's called a slope intercept form. It's all the way simplified. Although this one is mathematically, it means the exact same thing. The only reason I bring that up is you might see either one as an option, like on a multiple choice test. So for this example, we are gonna be solving for B. So we look at our equation, we find B, there it is there. Now, quick note on this one, the big A and the little a are different variables for this equation here. This one's kind of similar to area of a trapezoid. So since there's our B there, it's on the right-hand side of the equal sign. So in our answer, we're gonna have B on the right-hand side of the equal sign. So what's being done to B? So now if we look here, this whole right-hand side is being divided by two. So it will also look like this. So, so you do need to make sure that you're seeing this equation and this equation as basically the same equation. This is a divide by two, you're multiplying by a half to both the A and the B. Same thing here, dividing by two to both the A and the B. So we can undo this divide by two here, or if you're looking here with a multiply by two to both sides. So again, the right-hand side, the whole right-hand side is being divided by two. So we can start by undividing by two to start out with. So A times two makes two A, and then this times two undoes this multiply by a half because you got two over two and that just equals a plus b. Now remember we're still trying to get b by itself so we're going to undo this plus a with a minus a and this is the little a so we got a 2a minus a makes 2a minus a little a in this case here. Now, this is kind of the, the most direct way of solving this equation. You could solve it like this over here as well to where you actually go ahead and distribute the one half. So one half times A and one half times B, one half times A, one half times B. And now you can solve it kind of the way that you do other two-step equations, subtract this over to the other side. There it is there, the minus one half A it's a plus one half a, move it over. And now here undo the multiply by one half by multiplying by two. Multiply by two to the a makes two a, multiply by a half makes one a there. So remember when we're solving these formulas or rewriting equations or what's called literal equations, we're basically just getting the variable by itself. So identify the variable, 
and then undo everything that's being done to that variable to get it on its on its own side of the equal sign.